to meet you. Really? Yeah, I was am really I scary. Scared. No, you're not scary. But a little bit, am I scary? I think because I hate meeting celebrities, idols, because I just embarrass myself and That's I get so, so scared. But it happens with everyone. <laughs> so don't, you're not special. <laughs> so you're not special. <laughs> yeah. But then I met you and you were lovely. Thanks. And here we are. A little restaurant. In a little Paris. restaurant. Thank you very much. Okay. It's in French. It's it is all in French. Can you speak French? A little bit. Where? Oui, petit peu? My husband's Italian, so Italian, you know. So the Italian French. just slips in, you know? We should probably do a French wine, shouldn't we? Mm. Oh, they're all French. <laughs> I don't know wine. <laughs> I liked your Instagram from uh, the hockey game. Thank you. It was so confident. It was like so bad. This, what is this? It's called a dab. It's for the young dabs, people, young millennials. The young millennials dab. And then, okay. and then I just chugged it. I'm gonna drink what you're drinking. I'll drink whatever it is. Okay, Let's girl. get a bottle. Let's do it. Let's get one. Yes! <laughs> What's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? On set or? On set. On stage or? Oh, okay. On set, is he? Um, I was doing a romantic scene with an actor that I had a crush on mm. years ago before I was married. Mm -hmm. And um, in the middle of the, and I didn't realize it, but in the scene, I was calling them by their personal name. No! <laughs> no! It was terrible. And I didn't realize until we cut the scene. Who said? He did. Oh no. It was so embarrassing. And who was the actor? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's awful. It was terrible. Don't you want it yet? Yes. I'll have the asparagus. I'll have the asparagus too. And uh, then we have so I would like the mashed dog. potatoes. Oh, yes, please. Yeah. And I'm vegan, so whatever the chef has that's vegan would be great. So thank you, ladies. Thank, thank you. For mm -mm. How old were you when you did uh, Game of Thrones? Mm, 13. That's young. How old were you when it I, I was it, I was at a college thing. I mean, my first film didn't come out until I was in my 30s. Really? Mm -hmm. I've only been in the acting industry for nine years. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. I know. I feel like I've done a lot. That's why I can't imagine at 13, you know, to have so much kind of responsibility on you, to have a job, to have a fan base, and the. The excitement that that show brought. I mean, yeah, I guess it was, but it wasn't really like that in the beginning. Like the show never picked up excitement until like the series three or four or something mm. like that. So I didn't really feel like it was sudden. Like a life changer. A life changer. Did you dye your hair red? Yeah. I know. I I know. We were both redheads. Did you? <laughs> I actually did. No way. Yeah. No. It's because you have the personality of a redhead. Do I? Yeah. Well, my mom's a redhead. Spunky. That makes sense. My mom's a redhead. She actually has the same color hair as you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's it looks really good. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Oh, cheers. Oh, oh darling, you. To lifelong friendship. <laughs> lifelong friendship. And to dark phoenix. Dark <laughs> phoenix comes out jeans. <laughs> Wait, so you have two brothers, right? Mm-hmm. Two of... brothers, two sisters. What about you? Two older brothers. It makes sense. Mm -hmm. What do you mean that makes sense? Like, that you have two older brothers because you're tough. You're scrappy. Oh, okay. Thanks. You're welcome. I like scrappy. I feel scrappy. Now, what did your family say when you, when you wanted to get involved? Um, well, I didn't tell my, my parents that I auditioned 
for Game of Thrones. Um, what? They just kind of found out when I was like, how did you get an agent for? So Nina Gold, the casting director, went around just like schools in the area, just random no. schools. Um, and so like me and all my friends auditioned. Like we just thought it was a fun kind of jokey thing to do. And we auditioned and I guess I just got callback after callback after callback. And, then and you kept going to the callbacks and you didn't tell your parents? No, I told my parents found out when I was in the final seven. <gasps> and then my mom kind of freaked out. And she called up my dad and she was like, I don't know if we can do this. And my dad was like, shut up. This is what she's wanted her whole Aww. life. You have to let her just give it a go. What did you do when you got the part? My mum walked into the room and told my best friend so that she could wake me up and tell me. Oh. And we were on holiday in France and she jumped on me and she went, you got the part. And then we both ran and jumped in the pool and ate oh, loads of pizza wow. that whole day. It was the best day ever. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I remember this from a while ago, but is it Al, Pac it was Al Pacino yeah. that chose you specifically for a role, for, right? Yeah, I've just been auditioning for like little television series and you know, not really, nothing was really getting out, it was okay. And I got a call that said, Al Pacino wants you to audition for Salome for the actor's studio. I've never met Al Pacino. I don't understand how this is, I, I'm so confused, but sure. That's crazy. And it was crazy. Someone said, Please wait here. You know that moment like yeah. before, and they go into the room, and I'm standing there, and then all of a sudden I couldn't breathe. And I feel like my heart was going like this, and I was like, "Oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ruin this audition." You know when you know you're yeah. about to have a panic attack? Yeah. And I could hear him talking in the room. I was like, I came in, and I started reading the part, and then Al started talking in the audience. So as I was acting, I would hear, "Wow." <laughs> like, no. She's amazing. <gasps> like all this crazy stuff that was coming out of the audience, and I was like, and every time he kept saying stuff like that, I was like, I'm amazing. <laughs> you know, it, and he I mean, knew what he was doing. Says it. Yeah, he Ladies, knew like I want this, uh, they were delicious. delicious. Yeah, right. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, this is a very small red wine glass. It is, which is good. <laughs> oh, okay, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> oh. I actually have like, that brought me to a question. I, I get so nervous before going into audition, auditions that I like almost always get up. Like, I used to be like that. I can't audition. Like what is the worst scenario that happened to you when you went in you're like, I, I messed this up? I mean, honestly, when I was young. Oh my God, what happened? <laughs> when I was young, I used to get stage fright and I used to be while you auditioned? No, not when I like, auditioned for Game of Thrones, I wasn't like peeing myself. <laughs> but when I was younger, like much younger, uh, at primary school, they're like too old to be peeing yourself. In the nativity plays, I used to like. Wait. I mean. Would you pee yourself or would you not pee yourself? I would pee myself. I was Angel Gabriel. But and I you would pee, pee yourself in front of the whole audience? Yeah. And so maybe I just always have that fear, but like, like you're gonna I, pee. I, I just, I can't do a good audition. Is there a way to reframe it in your mind? Well, actually, my fiance told me to always put like a hundred dollar note in your pocket when you walk into a room, because then you feel like, but you don't have a hundred dollars in your pocket. <laughs> That's good. But also too, don't think of them as testing you out. You're coming in, You've prepared it, you're there, it's like a scene class. Yeah. And their their job is to, to direct you. Yeah. So you are in the control seat unlike they are in some way, you know? I like that. I mean, it's, good. it's you that are playing the role. You, yeah. You own the character physically. It's just like I get so nervous that all I care about is just remembering the nice. And I don't even really? Yeah. So nervous. Interesting. Yeah. And what were you thinking about when you forgot them? Because I don't usually know. I was probably thinking, remember that. Fine. I mean, especially in theater, for me, that's what happens. Like if you're doing Shakespeare that lasts oh. three hours, I mean it's not like you can just make up the lines. No. Instead of like <gasps> the, the panic of is it coming back, I kinda just go, it's gonna come back. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait until it does. That's and there it is. And then it comes back to you. Yeah. The panic makes The it panic will make it it like you just won't remember. What? Do you have your pages in your hand when you're on this thing? No. You should. Really? I bet that'll give you security. Don't look at them. Know I where it is on the page. I worry that they'll judge me if I have my pages no. in my hand. No, what they're gonna, I, this is what I think. 
if you have your pages in there in your hand, they're going to think that you're workable. I think sometimes if you come in completely prepared without the pages, it looks like this is my performance. Yeah. And it's not going to grow from there. But if the page is in your hand, then it looks like, oh, yeah, you know, I, I'm, I'm exploring it, but you're not like set. Oh, I like that. I mean, who knows? That is interesting. Thank you very much. Mm. Ooh, beautiful. Bon appetit. bon appetit. You don't know what you have. I, I think it's zucchini. Mm, it looks like zucchini and sprouts. Oh, wow. This mashed potato is good. Can you eat mashed potato? Can you eat potato? Yeah. yeah, you can. How long have you been vegan for? For 14 years. 14? Mm-hmm. I know. Before there were like really vegan options. I was like, yeah. What made you go vegan? Uh, was it health. ethical or oh, health? health. I, you know, I uh, just played a part where I would stop eating. When I finished the film, my body was just out of whack. Yeah, it was I'm too sure. quick to do that. And how old I, were you then? That was, I was 20 something. Mm. It was, the movie was held forever because I had bad luck with my movies. You know, that one was Jolene, I did Salome, I did Tree of Life, I did The Dead. Oh, with time. I don't know, little time. Little time. It's so weird to me now, this, that like you're making out with him. He's like, I know, do you I just feel see quite him as like a 10 year old boy. <laughs> the second that we were on set together, I was like, she's a, like, well, I was walking in and I was like, she's a big actor. Just prepare yourself. She might have weird quirks. She, she might she not want to talk to you while she's preparing. <laughs> just prepare yourself. And then you got on set and you were just like, should we play a prank? And I was like, yes! I mean, you have to be careful. Of course. There are you some actors you're like, I, I can't get near it. This no. person is so deep in where they are. Yeah, you couldn't do it to like Joaquin Phoenix. No. Mm -mm. Or sometimes Fassbender, I wonder. I don't know if he's the guy you prank. I know, I've been trying to figure that out for a yeah. while because I would love to prank him. Be, I think you prank him offset. Yeah, I think so too. Um, we pranked Mac Attack. We pranked Mac Attack. And he was so grumpy that but day. But didn't you know, but it loosened him up. It did, it loosened him up. We were a little nervous because he came on set. I know, and we, were like, and we were like, is this the day to do the prank? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Love some tea. Mm -hmm. you want some tea for dessert? Yeah, I'd love some tea for dessert. Camomile. You know me so well. I know you so well. Two camomile teas, please. Thank you. Do you want to be a producer? I do. In the future, yeah. I want to be a producer, director. I would do a movie you directed. Really? Yeah. And I would do a movie you directed. Thanks. As an actor, you can only have so much creative control. I want to be able to have full creative control and create my own vision, and that's mm. something that I'm quite passionate about. So my best friend Maisie, who's on Game of Thrones yes. with me, who plays Arya, she and I have a very like intense friendship, mm. a friendship that like I haven't had with any of my other girlfriends before, and so we felt like we wanted to write a movie about a friendship where it's kind of like your soulmates but your friends and it's like this beautiful connection and, but it can also be quite destructive. Have you started writing the screenplay? No, but I bought a, a screenplay writing book. Did you really? I to did. teach yourself? To, to teach play? myself because I can't write well but I want to but I'm just not talented enough. You are talented enough. You haven't seen me writing yet. Can oh. you send me something? What do you Can I read it? Me? No, I want to read some pages that you wrote. So why don't I write something and you write something and we swap it? Okay. And that's the tea. And that's the tea. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna burn your taste buds. I like the heat. I bet you do. Mm -hmm. um, how did you come up with and that's the tea? I think it's something that drag queens say. Are you serious? I think it is. I think drag queens say I like, I'll spill queens. the tea or oh, yeah, yeah. that's the tea. And so I would think up things that I wanted to say and I would just say false facts or facts and I would just be like, that's the tea. You do one now? Sure. I'm too drunk to film this Vogue video. And that's the tea. <laughs> <laughs> now you try. Ooh. Is that still too hot for you? It's a little too hot for me. I'm sensitive. You're the dark phoenix. Oh, that's right. Oh, chug it. Chug that tea. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> Let's get the tank. Check, please. Check, please. Here he is. 
Oh, thank you so much. I will take this care of this. pickles on you? I think he's giving us a discount because he likes us. Uh... <laughs> Love you. Love you. What a great dinner.